Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's happening? Jeremy Rubin here. We're talking about buying houses with zero dollars down. You know me as Jeremy Rubin, the friendly flipper, and I'm here bringing you the value today. Text me the word flip. Text me the word flip and we'll get you on your way to getting your first $10,000 deal. What's going on? We got Chevy Addict in the house. We got Live Free in the house. We got Nicholas in the house. We got Eileen in the house. We got Sergio in the house. We got Kevin in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you, Kevin. We're talking about buying houses with zero dollars down. Is it doable? Can you do it? Can it happen? Yes, it can. But is there more to the story? Yes. DM me the word flip. What's up? <laughs> What's up, man? Appreciate that. What's up, Tammy? Good to see you. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, drop any questions you have in the chat. We're answering questions today about anything real estate related, anything real estate investing related, as far as uh, buying houses go with zero dollars down. Got some some good info coming to you for that. All right, all right. Congrats. Congrats, Kevin. That's awesome. Hey, Sergio, man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate you saying that. You're most welcome. You're most welcome, man. We got a got a call com coming in right now. Tammy asks a great question. Oh, Kevin sent a request. What's up, Kevin? I didn't see, man. All right, all right. Kevin's going to jump into the live if it connects here. All right. Kevin, what's, what's up, man? How you doing, dude? Dude, doing great. Good to see you, bro. What's that? Of the dreads? Yeah, you, yeah. You, I last one of the last videos I saw of you. Maybe not the last ones, but I remember you're all of a sudden you had dreads. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, the dreads. Uh, they've made an exit. They're actually currently in the cupboard. They could be redeployed at any time. Just staple them on or something. The, yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? Good, dude. Uh, yeah, so I'll, uh, I, I got a question about some real estate. Um, so when it comes down to buying properties like in a business versus in your personal name in terms of financing, um, you know, how do you do that? We got a lot more options um, under a business in general. Uh, is it for, I mean, I guess it goes back to the purpose because we're buying in business all the time for stuff that we're flipping. Um, right. so, I mean, you have more financing as far as, you know, you can, cause they're pretty restricted lenders as far as owner occupied loans, but okay. within the world of commercial, there's a lot less, uh, guidelines and things that they have to play within. So you get yeah. a lot more different products. So like hard money for, you know, stuff that needs a lot of work. Um, what do you think about FHA for flips? I mean, it works depending on, you know, well, for it to pass an FHA inspection, it's got to be pretty, it can't need a whole lot of work. Yeah. Um, if you go the 203K route, then that lets, it's basically FHA with uh, a construction loan tied into it, then that works um, really well, really well, in fact. Got it. Okay. So, so yeah. Hmm. Well, that's my question. Uh, yeah, we're in escrow on our first house. We're going to live in it, so it's not a flip. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know why it took so long to pull the trigger on that. But okay. we're doing it. Awesome, man. Congrats. And you're in uh, San Diego, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so we've got a baby coming, so good yard for the dogs and time to get out of the city and a little further out. So. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, no, there's a lot of flippers doing quite a bit, quite a bit of real estate investing activity out that way. 
Yeah, one of my good buddies and uh, our mortgage broker and a couple of our friends do a bunch of flips together, and they've got like you know uh, a couple every couple months, and they're yeah they're 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 doing it, man. And there's a lot of money in it too. It's uh, I mean you can lose money too, but I don't know. What are your biggest uh, what are the biggest red flags that you look for on a property, right? Because if somebody's selling it, especially under uh, you know if you're going the wholesale route or whatever. What are some red flags that you look for? Like, what are some things that people maybe like crack foundations, or what are things that people try to sneak in there when they're selling a the house like that? Yeah, yeah, foundation. That's the first thing that comes to mind is because that's we've encountered some where it's several hundred thousand dollars to to get that fixed. Um, so that's for sure a big uh, a big one. And to get uh, get an inspection is never a bad idea. Um, especially if there's something in question there. A lot of other stuff you can, I mean, you know, fire damage is pretty obvious. Um, sometimes code violations, or if there's old, that's something to check if with uh, the city to see if there's any open like permits or outstanding code violations, because we've bought some before that have come with basically you inherit issues that really have to be cleared up before you go to resell, if you're expecting to get top dollar for it. Otherwise, right. it just gives people a reason to try to get a discount. Yeah. So, All right, cool. Yeah, man. Well, thanks, dude. Well, good seeing you. Uh, I almost don't recognize you without the dress now. Oh, yeah. It was a... It's funny. That was a, a, a window of time that'll, that'll live on forever. How, how long did it take you to grow the dress? Oh, it's, okay. So, <laughs> they're, they were synthetic. So they were, no yeah, yeah. That's why you were saying you could bust them out at any time. That's so funny. I was like, all of a sudden this dude had dreads. Like, I don't know if you were just keep like, okay. Yeah, yeah. A lot more sense. So, okay. So there, basically I had never before, it, it, it was all for a Halloween costume and never before I had, I planned so far in advance. So I started growing my hair out like six months ahead of time. Like yeah. thinking that I might be able to get into some kind of like Viking braid by the time October was here, but my barber was like, dude, you should just get like uh, extensions. And then he recommended to someone that does dreads over here and they, they weren't available. So I ended up going all the way to LA, uh, to this place, uh, where like they were just, that's all they did. <laughs> and, and then they, dude, that's, that's so funny. That makes so much more sense. Cause I was like, <laughs> I don't remember this dude having long hair. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's I was a Viking. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Cool. All right, man. Well, I got to run, but uh, thanks for answering the question. I appreciate it. Good seeing you. Yeah, good thanks seeing you too, brother. Diego, hit me up. Sounds good, man. Take cool. care, brother. You. See you. See you. What's up? What's up, folks? Hey, always good to see people hanging out. Um, Popping in now the live. I know I missed a whole bunch of um, people popping in and out, and I wanted to get back to a question there. And it was Tammy's question. Okay, where where was my first zero down purchase? So my first zero down purchase was actually Santa Maria, California. So my hometown of Santa Maria. So really just, you know, just, I think, eliminating myths that it can't be done in California. It can't be done in, you know, it's supposedly, I mean, people said that about flips too. Like they, they're like, okay, well, California, New York, like those places, like there's, it's too expensive to buy. It's too hard. It's like, yeah, butters. So one of my old mentors would bring up the, <laughs> the phrase, yeah, butters, people that are, yeah, butters. It's like. Yeah, I, yeah, but it's like everything comes with a yeah, but like, yeah, but you can't flip houses here because the market's too weak or yeah, but the interest rates are too high or yeah, but the there's no sellers or yeah, but we're not getting any showings or whatever it is, the yeah, butters. And that was it. Just flipping. I had no, I had no other choice. I'm here in California. I'm like, well, 
here's here here we here, I landed in the state of California, so guess I got to make the most of it. And um, so a lot of uh, you know, so I've been told, hey, if you can do it here, you can do it pretty much anywhere. Like if you know, if you if you can find a way to make it happen in in a tough market, so to speak, tough, then what's stopping you from, uh, from then a lot of other places could be easier. So I kind of like to think of it as like high altitude training. So if I'm running and I'm not a runner, but if I was, I would be running at high altitude so I can train and come down and come down to sea level and, and, uh, and just perform that much better. So if you come up and, uh, come up in any kind of adversity in any sort of way, it's only going to make you stronger during, during times when it's easier. And you have strengths, strength, built strengths. So yeah, I bought my first house, zero down, Santa Maria, California. What does that really mean, zero? Well, there were closing costs, okay? So you have to pay some closing costs. Um, but aside from that, you know, it, if when a seller is financing it 100%, there's literally, you know, you're paying closing costs. And, and um, that's it. That's it. So that ended up, ended up costing, you know, that was on a, a $190,000 purchase. So that was, you know, right around 2,500 bucks or so, you know, somewhere in there. And that's how you can, the least expensive way to get into a home, no credit check, no qualifying, no getting pre-approved, just simply making an offer that made more sense than a cash offer by about $11,500 if they were willing to wait six months. Would that make sense for some people? Yeah. Another, another nearly 2000 a month uh, more in total. So what did I put into it? Well, I paid the closing costs and then I also paid $792 a month, so 5% interest on the $190,000, and just do every 30 days. What's up, what's up? We're talking about buying houses with $0 down. DM me the word flip, and we'll get you on your way to your first 10K deal in the next 90 days. If you've got any questions about buying with zero down, drop them in the comments. Got what's up, Bobby? Kid Strong, coach in the house. Robert Lopez in the house. Great White in the house. Good to see everybody popping in here on the lunch hour. My man, Jesus. Good to see you, brother. So it can be done in any state. It can be done in, you know, the home can be in any condition. You have the most flexibility. It's, it's super like the ideal scenario, the ideal, sin, like what you're looking for is a house that's paid off. Seller owns it free and clear. And it was a rental. If it had been a rental, they're used to accustomed to it producing a monthly, some sort of monthly cash flow. That's what it's been for the longest time. So in general, if they, we're looking for tired landlords. We're looking for people, they've, they've owned it for a long time. It's been a rental for a long time. Now it's vacant for some reason. And they can either, so they're losing some rent right now. They're not necessarily selling out of, because they have to cash out right now, but they would like to sell it. So if it takes you know another six months, if it makes sense financially, if they can get cash flow during that time as if it was rented, that'll work. And then you cash them out after six months. So not everybody needs, who wants to sell a property needs their money today or needs all the capital or needs to reinvest it or buy something right now. You can often do them something or do, you know, provide for them something that they didn't even have an opportunity to, to invest in prior, which is their own, you know, an asset they're very familiar with, but that will also, you know, something they're super familiar with, they're protected and 
will also provide them with cash flow in the process while once you know while relieving all of their um, responsibility or you know anything as far as they're no longer they don't have to worry about repairs anymore maintenance utilities all of this goes away as soon as, as soon as they sign the paper and then they become the lender my man Ben Torres what's up man good to see you we're talking about seller financing and getting getting into houses with zero dollars down so that's your ideal that's your ideal right and what can you do with this well you can buy it yourself but if you're not you know if that's not your goal you could also wholesale it you could assign a deal if you think about it if you're putting a property under contract as a cash purchase and you assign that and you collect a wholesale fee for assigning that this is just a terms purchase now you're structuring a terms purchase you can still wholesale that you can still assign that so we're working on one right now in Oakland California that uh, we're working on negotiating for a commercial building. So if all goes well, the seller will agree to 500 down, and then we'll have something that we can can go and market because we're not going to purchase it ourselves. It doesn't fit what our buy box is, but we can, it will fit somebody's buy box. And having an option to finance it is with the seller's capital is a plus it's a big a big advantage that you can offer because if you go on MLS or LoopNet for commercial you'll see some are they're offering seller carry or seller financing but the majority of them are not stew monkey in the house Good to see everybody here on this holiday week, Thursday. Hey, drop any questions you have. I've got two spots open for my mentorship, two spots open for my elite level mentorship in January. Um, the elite is not for everybody. Uh, that one is specifically limited to two seats. But send me a DM if you're interested. Um, but I also have... Um, my small group flip mentorship which is um, a great fit for someone either looking to get started or looking to scale and you still get one-on-one -on -one access to me um, as well with that one so but at a much more um, a much more affordable price what's happening DM me flip to get your first 10k deal rolling We'll send you the details on the mentorship options. I'll want to hop on a phone call. I'll have some questions. I want to hop on a phone call with you, kind of get to know what your situation is so I can best understand if what we're doing could possibly help you with that. Um, and then if it's indeed something that I think would be a good fit, then, then we'll talk about next steps. Hey, by the way, grab your copy of Realty 411 Magazine. digital copies to get one of these make sure you're on my email list make sure you're on my email list the digital copies going out for everybody to learn a little bit more about fixing and flipping so what's better than a deal than a house buying a house Buying it with seller financing. Literally, there's no banks, no banks involved. You use a title company, so you're working with a title company, of course, and they close out the transaction. They take care of everything you need. 
as you move through the process, questions are answered step by step. And that's also part of what we cover in the mentorship is how to buy a house with zero down. All the fill in the blanks, right? Because I'm sure you have a lot of different, um, a lot of questions, right? A lot of, uh, you know, maybe blank spots, things come up. You think about what about this? What about that? You know, we fill all that in. We, we take you through that A to Z. A lot of people are taking this week off, but there's some of you that I see that are hustling during this week and preparing and getting ready and going to be getting off to a strong start to the next year. And that's where when you're considering your goals, you're planning. So I'm writing down, taking notes, taking notes. If you don't journal, if you don't write something, you might consider because there's power in it. And you just kind of get in getting thoughts out and getting things written out. And not to mention you can keep track of all the things that you, you know need to make sure get done. But um, one of the things that I'm focusing on is my top three mentors that I'll be learning for, learning from for at least the first 90 days of the year, maybe the whole year, potentially. Um, and these are people that I'll be studying their, their works essentially. So their books, their, their left, you know, whatever courses, um, or, you know, videos I can find on them just basically because I know plugging in these piece of these pieces will improve. I can, I can take pieces from each of these individuals and become better myself. Um, and one of them is sales related. Um, one of them is marketing, one of them is marketing related. Um, and another one is leadership related. So as I'm planning my next year, I look at it a lot deeper than, okay, New Year's resolution, you know, not going to drink or, you know, New Year's resolution, I'm going to go to the gym or New Year's resolution, I'm going to make more calls. Like, yeah, that we have, I have some of those simple, um, or just very straightforward things, but also I'm approaching, I approach just this time of year is a good time to just kind of refresh on everything overall. What areas do I want to improve the most on and what's the step? What's the plan for that? What up? We got, I don't understand your comment. Moyen. But if you want to rephrase it, then we're answering questions today about how you can fix and flip a deal with zero dollars down to buy the house. You're going to have to fund the renovation, but you can buy the house with zero down. We're talking about where you can do it, what it takes, what it doesn't take. If you are concerned about getting started in flipping, because this comes up pretty often, is, hey, do I need great credit? And the answer to that, especially with something like this, is no. In fact, there's no credit check. If it's seller financed, there's no bank involvement. So that can be a great uh, plus or a way in. I'm all about eliminating the ways of uh, <clears throat> finding a way in, eliminating everything that's anything that's keeping you out. If it's if there's there's generally a solution for every single hurdle that comes up along the way or preconceived, uh, you know, people think you know something might stop them or hold them back or they they need to do this before that or or any of that stuff like and and then you realize that there's really not much holding there doesn't have to be like 
and some of those things are people uh, just you know are operating with information that or they don't have the information that that can help them move forward without um, yeah to move forward what's up what's up hey drop any questions you've got in the chat about buying with zero down I've got two spots open for my mentorship DM me flip and we'll send you a uh, quick message about the details on that and kind of go over with you what that entails. Twenty twenty four is upon us. We have today and tomorrow. I'm here reviewing deals live right now. I got this deal sent to to uh, to me from a wholesaler right now. It's in San Diego. Happens to be in San Diego. We're just. It's funny just talking about San Diego and look, look at this. So anyway, they're asking five ninety for it. We're gonna pull the ARV and see what that looks like. So this is a great. This is play by play, right? A deal lands in my inbox. What am I doing next? Well, I'm looking at it. I'm using what I know to kind of like scan over it. If someone tells me, uh, you know, they got something for five ninety in San Diego, four bedroom, my ears perk up. It's it's not there. There could be something there. You know, it comes with some pictures. This is why you need to connect with wholesalers. Because what did I have to do to get this deal sent to me? Nothing today. They just sent it my way, right? They sent me a, a deal. It, based on a conversation we had once and now I'm on this guy's email list and cool he's gonna send me a deal when he's got a when he's got a deal so just like that and there's more than enough wholesalers out there to connect with there's more than so that's not a limiting factor okay so the deal lands in the inbox Anil, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Merry Christmas. We're talking about buying houses with zero down. And then uh, just moving over to a deal that was sent to me right now. By the way, if you have any deals, feel free to send them to my inbox. Um, just send me a, a DM, and then I'll, I'll give you the right email address to send them to. Um, but we're looking at something that just came into my inbox. It's in San Diego. They're asking 590000 for it. So the first thing I want to do is see, okay, what could it be worth potentially? That's the first question that comes into my mind. So I see what they're asking. I don't really care what they're asking. But I kind of am curious to know, right? But it doesn't impact what I'm able to pay, right? Ultimately, I'm able to pay what I'm able to pay. But the fact that they're asking a reasonable price, okay, it looks like could be something here. So then my next step is to jump over to an app so I can pull up comparables. Um, today I'm using PropStream. So that works all over the US. And, uh, you know, you can use MLS, you can use other services too, but uh, PropStream works great for investors um, because you can use, you know, you can access properties anywhere um, with uh, with a simple, you know, one, you know, it's like they're not like ninety nine bucks a month subscription. So you're you ultimately versus like having an MLS subscription for all these different places. Uh, which costs even more. So taking a look, first thing I want to know is, okay, what can this property potentially be worth? Well, it looks like the comps are averaging 754. So I see that right away, like instantly off the bat. 
but of course we want to look a little deeper and see you know what's comp you know what is that making up you know what's what's making up that number okay so we have one that sold like two houses down it's just it's four numbers off so it's either two houses it's probably two houses over and then we have one that sold looks like right across the street for uh, but one's a two bed and one's a five okay and this was sold a while ago so that doesn't give us this was sold in 2019 so we want to scroll past that so but we know the one across the street sold for 485 in 2019 and that's a five bed but that's a long time ago right but have prices come down since then? No. So keep scrolling. What else do we see? What is... Okay, here's one that sold. <clears throat> September of 23. And that one... Sold for seven twenty four nine hundred. And it is just a little bit. So our property is twelve hundred square feet. This one's thirteen hundred square feet. Uh, And we have <clears throat> one uh, sold more, uh, September twenty fifth for seven seventy. So we're look. What else can we find here? Okay, we found we have another one sold for back in March. We usually don't want to go that far back, but we can kind of see a pat like a neighborhood. You know, we can kind of see a get an idea of the pattern as far as values how quickly they're rising sold for 625 in March let's arrange this by date we have one for 860 sold in January so Essentially, we want to come up with what our after repair value is for this. And it looks like there's a few others, 745, 710, 745. So just at a quick glance, probably 725 730 720 730 somewhere in there so based on that okay they're asking 590 we'll say 720 that's 130k spread what can you do with 130k spread is the next thing if you were to pay 590 answer might surprise you but not that much Depending, you can do a cosmetic renovation in a lot of cases, uh, but only a light one, really. Uh, by the time you're into it, um, holding costs, sales costs, uh, spending sixty thousand on a renovation, you know, at a price point seven hundred, you need seven, you need a seventy thousand dollar or better profit to make ten percent. So. You really, even though it sounds like a lot, you're not working with that much there. Uh, we're looking for 200, 250K, 300K spreads, really to be able to go in, do a full renovation, put it back on the market, and walk away with 80 to 100K. That's, that's the goal, that's the home run. That's what, we're, that's what we're looking for, the target. On homes that are less than a million dollars. 
that's that's what we're that's the ideal so if you can find something that you know would sell for 800 for somewhere around five something like that now you know okay that you're talking you got something there uh you know 900 in the sixes so on 700s for 400 that's pretty much like the 300 for six and it kind of becomes further away it's really like from 400 to like 700 where you can find spreads like that and and uh where it can work out quite well but so with this one so back to this one um for 590 is it a deal it's going to depend on the pictures so they did send pictures What do the pictures look like? Well, you can tell real quick what the extent of the renovation it would need. Scrolling through, it needs a full cosmetic, meaning it needs paint, flooring, carpet, uh, bathrooms to be redone. One of the bathrooms might have decent tile, but the kitchen needs to be fully renovated. Not a lot of yard work, mostly cement lot. So if you're interested in a in a fix and flip deal, we'll sell it to you right now for six hundred. There you go. Now it probably needs about sixty thousand dollars worth of renovation. It's a twelve hundred square foot house, twelve and a half hundred. 1300 so for that to make sense you're probably gonna need it for less than that right because you're all in at 590 or if you pay 590 now add 60 60 to that so you're all in at 650 um, you've got you know realtor commissions take five percent off of 700 for an easy number that's 35k so now you're at 685 without closing costs or without holding costs. Uh, if, you, if you're adding in hard money, that's 15K right there. So now you're at 700, plus you've got more monthly mortgage payments of about 5K, so times six months. Now you're at 730, plus you still need to make a profit. Plus we haven't even considered closing costs. So closing costs, another 1%, so now you're at 735, uh, 738. You need to make 10%. So where would that put you at? If we know ARV is right about seven, we're right there, 730, but you still need to make about 70 grand at least. So take off another 100. So really you'd wanna pay 490 for this house, 500. That's where you're ideally, where you'd wanna be at for something that you're selling for 720. 730 so now there's your 230k spread that's where a 300k spread is you know it may need more of an, a, a renovation or it may need uh, or it might just be a, a juicier profit but that's just boom off the top of my head how those numbers break down and how you can see that even 130k spread yeah you could flip it but you'll be the you'll be everyone and everyone else will make money but you will be left with peanuts and that's not the position you want to be in after six months of, of hard work or, or four months of of managing a project. So now, could this be a buy for someone looking to buy and hold? It could be. It could. They may look at it from a different uh, lens. Um, for someone who's going to live in it, even better. So a great play for this one. So what could we do with this? Now that's kind of a looking at it from that standpoint because I doubt they will give us another 70,000 off. They might. It's from a wholesaler, so they have some some spread there. Um, what could we do with it right now? Well, if someone's going to buy it and they're going to hold it, then they instantly they're not going to have to pay a real estate commission for selling it because they're not selling it. So there's 35,000 right there. That's 5% of the purchase, you know, 5% of the, the after repair value. 
um, someone who can do the work themselves or who has a contracting background may be able to get it done for less than the, the 60. They might be able to get it done for 45. Um, so then right there, there's another 15, maybe even 20. So now you're looking at, what, 50K right there, maybe 60, 50, 55, something in there in savings. They save because there's not a... Um, they're not going to have to, I mean, make any, no seller concessions, no, you know, credits, anything like that, which can all just end up. All that stuff can eat up and just eats into profit. Um, so for somebody like that, now they might need to spend that, you know, so where do you go with it? Well, these guys are asking 590 how would it look for someone to pay, say, six ten, and do that work themselves? Then they're all in at what six six sixty if they spend fifty grand. So now they they've got a spread. So they get that all all that work done, and they've got it'll appraise for seven thirty something like that, right? Now there's some some equity there they've got a deal so they because they paid less than retail so basically they've created that sp that difference in there say i know i'm throwing out a lot of numbers um right now but so they're basically say their prices for 730 they're all in at 660 there's um what 80 70 grand 70 grand they've created 10 percent. they've carved out 10 percent right there in equity so it could make sense for somebody um, with a different exit comment flip in the box there and we'll send you the details for flip mentorship We're talking about buying houses with zero dollars down today Cop talking about uh, running numbers right here on this actual deal in San Diego looking at what we could pay for it looking at um, what we can't pay for it and seeing what we could do with this type of deal or who might be a buyer, a retail buyer, it would work uh, great for. So if you were an investor that has, you know, or an agent with retail buyers too, and you can get a deal financed, um, you know, that, that can always be a possibility as well. Uh, drop any questions you have on the process of buying a house with zero dollars down. Uh, we covered where I did it, how I did it. The key is just creating an option for the seller that makes more sense than a cash offer. Now, what does that mean? It depends on what's important to the seller. But if given certain criteria, given they don't need to buy another house right away, or maybe they do, but they don't need all of the capital to buy the next house. They only need a certain portion of it. The rest can be financed. So it's, but where does this come from? It comes from getting to know them, the discovery process, and really understanding what they're, what, what will selling enable them to do as far as what next steps in life will will open up to them once they sell the property versus just, I need to sell and, and, and not, not understanding what, cause there's details there, right? Even if it's, I need to sell cause I have to pay bills. Well, there's more to the story, right? There's more, you know, there's, there might be medical bills and, a car note they want to pay there might be uh, but there's something there right there's details that make up the bigger picture story and are they gonna come you know are they going to open up to you right away off the bat about that stuff probably not so it's more so about that's where you need to work on your connection skills and discovery skills and just asking the right questions 
that get people talking. Ultimately, it's just questions that allow people to open up about what their situation is. So that way you can help them with a more personalized solution. PropStream got plugged twice today out of, well, I guess it's, it's true. So if you see my uh, Instagram reel from earlier today, it was all about PropStream just because I was asked about, hey, what tool do I use most often? And look at that, it happened in real time. So there we go. I do have a hard stop here uh, coming up just before I get ready for something at one o'clock. So please uh, drop any comments you've got and I'll uh, be able to answer those with time to spare. And for the Flip Mentorship details for January Flip Mentorship, comment Flip or DM me Flip and we will send you the details on that. You know, it will even tell you on PropStream um, more info than that. Like for example, it'll, it'll tell you the, to the best that it knows as far as if there's existing debt on the property, what the mortgage amount uh, outstanding is, um, all that, like yeah, that kind of stuff, seller's information, um, mailing address, so you know where to get hold of people. You know, specifics about the property, lot size, um, square footage of the property, you know, history as far as previous sellers, zoning. Uh, it's pretty expansive in what it covers from a being able to have a professional view of the market standpoint. So we're talking about buying houses with zero dollars down, how you can buy houses with zero dollars down. Uh, what it really comes down to is getting creative and creating something that's gonna work for the seller. Um, you know, you're gonna pay the closing costs, so that's gonna come out of pocket. Um, you're going to need to pay for repairs if it's a flip, right? So you have to figure out a way, you have to figure out a game plan for all this stuff. But the idea of a seller you know, selling their house to you with zero down, completely doable. Um, where you want to start, the next step where you want to start with this is people that own their home without a mortgage, you know, free and clear. They're paid off. Um, it can be done with homes that are still financed, but that's a different, a different call. And for right now, just, you know, from a very uh, straightforward next step starting point, the plan would be to talk to people who own their home free and clear. Boom, that's easy. Get comfortable with that conversation about, um, you know, if they would be open to considering um, some sort of payment structure where it would net them more than just simply selling for a low cash offer. So you position this against your own cash offer, um, but you want to start by making, you know, you go in there with your cash offer. If it's a no to that, then, okay, well, we also have another method um, and it works like this. You know, is this something that you might consider? Having multiple solutions to be able to sell, to be able to help sellers sell is key because then, you know, think about person A who only had option A, they're done. Their cash offer wasn't there, that's all. Person B who has a couple options, okay, the cash offer was turned down, but now there's another conversation. They've earned, they've, they've opened up a second conversation. Not saying it's gonna be a yes, but 
it's a chance. If they've got a third option, they've got another chance. So your odds go up at being able to help a seller in a different way uh, if you've got different ways to help them. What's up, Sanchez in the house? Hey, we're talking about buying houses with zero dollars down. It's Thursday, just before the New Year's, in the midst of the holiday week, and we're good. Uh, we're here. We're making moves. I can see some of y'all are out there making moves, getting prepared to attack the new year and create whatever you're dreaming right now into reality. Drop any questions you've got into the chat. I think on one of these upcoming lives I'll be talking about morning routines and setting yourself up for success for the day, things you can do, uh, and what my thoughts are around routines. The good, the bad, And if you've got any questions about how we buy houses with zero down, how you can buy a house with zero down, this works in any state as well. So this works in any state across across the entire U.S. Um, there's not a state where this doesn't work. Uh, of course, you want to know, you want to uh, use the right paperwork for your local jurisdiction. But aside from that, this idea, I mean, all we're talking about is... First off, I mean, it's really for sale by owner, right? We're talking about a for sale by owner, an owner selling their own property. And we're talking about just some kind of payment plan, some kind of payment structure. That's all it really is. So so some key things to ask a seller some key things to understand. And when I say ask, I don't mean just directly ask. I mean, we want to uncover this information. So some things to uncover by asking different questions of the seller are, you know, what, what time frame is important to them? Are they, you know, in, are we talking about 30 years? Are we talking about three years? Are we talking about five years? Are we talking about yeah, as short as six months? Um, you know, what, what would make the most sense for them based on their situation? Are they wanting to create some long-term supplemental income? Then we might go down the route of uh, something more on the longer side of things, maybe 10 years or more. Um, if they're looking for something where, you know, they can carry it for three years, but then that's it. Cause by that time they'll, they have other plans, then we can, create a structure around that. Um, it all just really depends on what's important to them. And even if there's a portion of capital they need now and a portion that, you know, they're okay with, um, they don't need now and they would rather earn some uh, residual income on, you know, we can work with that too. It's whatever you come up with that's reasonable, but you don't know unless you ask. You will never, you know, the answer will always be no or not in your favor if you don't ask. So, but the strategic way to ask is to, you know, ask questions to learn what's important to them, to understand, to be able to discover what's important to them. And then you can, in your mind, create some solutions. Okay, yeah, this might work. Okay, yeah, I think that might work. Okay, let me pencil this out and stuff. But then when you present to them, you've, Okay, looks like you know this could be a viable solution. This could be one, or, and this could be one. Which one do you think? Which one sounds interesting, or which one do you think might be the path forward? And then you let them choose. What's going on, folks? Hey, we're talking about buying houses with zero down. I've got two spots open for January mentorship. Comment flip in the comments, and we'll send you the details. We're talking about one-on-one -on -one mentorship guiding you to your first deal within 90 days getting that first paycheck if it's an assignment fee we're getting that deal done that wholesale deal done if it's a fix and flip 
We're acquiring that first fix and flip, and then you're off to the races getting it renovated, using my proven methods to make sure it happens with least amount of hiccups and you preserve the most profit so that way you're taking home what you deserve at the end of the deal. Comment flip. And we'll send you details for that. Today we're answering questions all about buying your first house with zero down or buying your next house with zero down and how, how we're doing it um, anywhere in the U.S. How, you know, we're talking to sellers all the time about these kind of deals. Um, we also ran numbers on a property. So if you have number, and I'm glad to uh, run numbers too. If you have a deal, you want to see if this is a fit or if this is, does it make sense? Does it not? We can break it down live and I'll give you my exact thoughts, tell you what I would pay, tell you where you need to be, and that way you make the you make your next move your best move. Hey, so comment fix and flip if you're a fix and flipper. If you're a buy and hold investor, comment buy and hold. If you're a wholesaler, comment wholesale. I've got two spots open for mentorship in January where we guide you step by step in doing these deals, zero down type deals, hard money, wholesaling, fixing and flipping, acquiring rentals, anything within the one to four unit single family residential space, we got you, got you covered, including financing referrals and sweet hookups to get to fund your deals. I gotta wrap it up in just a couple minutes, so go ahead and drop any last questions you have and I will try to make room for one or two more of those. We're buying all over the state of California, so if you, if you have a deal anywhere in, anywhere in California, send it my way. Send me a DM if you're a wholesaler and I'd love to get on your list. Also, um, if you are looking to buy or if you're looking for a deal you can flip, I don't just take all the flips and hog them to myself. I'd be glad to wholesale you a deal anywhere in the state. Um, we can find one. We've got connections all over. So don't be shy. Send a DM. Be glad to um, do whatever we can to help you get a deal. And Because uh, when you get a deal, you win. We win. Our partners win. The seller wins. And that's uh, it's what we do around here. We keep a revolving door of deals. That's exactly what we do within Friendly Flipper Academy too, is um, teach the method of, hey, we want to talk to anybody who wants to sell. We want deals coming in and out, and some will wholesale. Some might be refer referrals to agents or listings if you're an agent, and others, those here and there that fit exactly what you're looking for, that's the, the one you cherry pick to, to keep for yourself. Any topics, any specific topics people want to see on upcoming calls, drop them in the chat. Be glad to, uh, to tailor some of these upcoming calls to those things. Uh, today's topic is one that uh, I don't speak on, I don't think, often enough. I'm always talking about the fixing and flipping, but then uh, with the, the zero down strategy, is a, uh, it's a winning move. And you can still flip it, and you can still wholesale it, or you could still keep it as a rental. You know, so it's an it's on the acquisition side. It's a tool in the acquisition tool belt. 
and um, we'll continue to bring those those tools for you to use the knowledge so you know how to use them and of course answering your questions on these social lives cool great to see everybody on here today hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll see you all soon for now get out there take some massive action